Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at Microsoft's new Live Interpreter API, which is now in public preview. Live Interpreter is designed to let people talk across languages in real time. Let's break down what that means and why it matters. The Live Interpreter API is part of Azure's speech translation service. It combines four things. First, it has automatic language detection, which means it figures out what language is being spoken on the fly, even if people switch languages mid-conversation. It also has low latency translation. The system is optimized to keep up with real conversations with human interpreter level latency. Another feature it includes is broad language and locale coverage. It supports 76 input languages and 143 locales. And another exciting feature is that you can use Azure's personal voice for output. Personal voice can keep the speaker's original tone and style so that you get something that feels much closer to the person actually speaking. And here's some real scenarios where Live Interpreter can make a big difference. First, customer support. This service can be used in contact centers to serve callers in multiple languages without routing them through menus. Also, for meetings and events, global calls or webinars can run smoothly, even if speakers switch languages mid-sentence. Another scenario is classrooms. Teachers and students can communicate naturally across language barriers. And one more example is commerce and live streams. Hosts can connect with international audiences in real time. So those are just a few examples and there's many, many more. Here's some things to keep in mind from a developer's perspective. One important point is if you plan to use personal voice in the Live Interpreter API, you must first apply for personal voice access because personal voice is a limited access service. Another heads up for your resource ID, please make sure it's in one of the following regions supported by public preview. West US 2, East US, Sweden Central, West Europe, Southeast Asia, and Japan East. So to enable Live Interpreter, you can utilize the following sample code. For the first line of code, replace the service region with the region you've created your resource in. The second line of code creates an instance of a speech translation config with specified subscription key and service region. This is where you can replace the service subscription key with your subscription key. The third line of code is where you can add your translation, target language, and enable personal voice. And the fourth line of code is showing that you don't need to define any candidate languages to detect because it's set to auto detect. But here's the bottom line. If you're building apps for collaboration, support, or live interaction, this API is worth checking out. It offers seamless cross-language conversation, natural expressive translation output, and global reach with dozens of languages. And since, it, since it's in public preview, you can try it today. So what would you use it for? Meetings, events, support calls, or, or something else? Drop your ideas in the comments, and if you found this helpful, hit subscribe for more updates on Speech AI. Thanks for watching.